made it gator uf themed um, so all the exercises we're doing today will be a little bit modified so that they're more gator and uf-esque which is why i'm wearing my nice steve spurrier shirt all right so it is 12 p.m so we're going to go ahead and get started with our first ever gator themed align class <clears throat> so the first thing we're going to do is some stretching so we are gonna get started with a hamstring stretch with a little bit of a shake, and I've called this the tail whip stretch. So you'll wanna imagine like you're shaking your little gator tail while you're doing this. So to do this stretch, you can put your hands on your hips, bring your right foot forward first. We'll do the right side first, and you just kinda of wanna, can't really see it there. We put your um, heel up and then bend down into the stretch, feel that stretch through the hamstring, and then shake your little gator tail. <laughs> Get a little bit of cardio in as well. We're gonna do this for a couple more seconds and then we'll switch to the left side. All right. Great, so now same thing on the left side. Put your heel up and then shake that gator tail. All right, give it a couple more seconds to really feel that stretch. And then bring it back up. Next, we're going to stun on the rocks, just like our friendly alligators do in the wild with a standing cobra pose. So against your desk or a chair, whatever you have, you just kind of want to lean onto the desk as if you're doing a plank. So you kind of be on your toes and then bring your chest out like a standing cobra and like you're stunning on the rocks like an alligator. And you can also sway side to side to feel a little bit more stretch in your shoulders, loosen them up a bit as well. We'll just stay here for about 10 more seconds to really feel that stretch through our upper body. All right, now we'll move on into our workout. So the first thing we're gonna do are some gator lunges. We're gonna start with our right side, then move on to our left side. So what you're gonna wanna do is lunge with your right foot forward, and put your arms out basically like a, oh, sorry, it's like this, um, like a warrior pose and then flip your palms up and then give me a gator chomp. And we're gonna do this for 30 seconds and then we'll switch on over to the left side. So again, you're lunging with your right foot forward, kind of doing a warrior pose but with your palms up and then we're doing a gator chomp. Give me five more seconds of this. So give me a couple more gator chomps. All right, and then we're gonna switch right on over to our left side. So left foot forward, you'll have the opposite arm in front now. And again, palms up and we're chomping. Just like we're at one of the games, rooting on our football team. Ten more seconds. All right, one more gator chomp. Very nice. All right, so next thing we're going to do are orange and blue side stretches. If you want to bring your arms up into an O, I'll stand a little bit back so you can see it with your fingers in lace, and then kind of bend back into that O, then bring it back forward. And then we're gonna do the blue, which is sort of like an upside down lowercase v, if you really think about it. And so we'll just, and then we'll come back um, to center with our orange and then go into the opposite side for blue. So these are orange and blue stretches. And we'll be doing this for 30 seconds. Um, just kind of getting that nice stretch through our lower back and our upper back and our sides. Give me one more rotation of these. So on each side, get that stretch in. All right, and now we'll move on to keeping the ball from FSU. 
Um, so you can grab your water bottle for this, or you can just keep your hands sort of interlaced um, in a, like in a fist, as if you're holding a football. Or you can pretend your water bottle is a football. And then with your feet about shoulder width apart, we're just gonna do trunk rotations. So imagine FSU is trying to get that ball from you, but we're not letting them. We're rotating away from them. You can go as fast or as slow as you'd like. Um, FSU is not that great, right? So we don't have to go too fast. Um, just take it at whatever pace you'd like, but we'll be doing this for 45 seconds starting now. We got 10 more seconds. All right. Next, we'll be making an L for F FSU because that's all I get, Ls, um, because we are the winner. So we're gonna, they're basically just standing leg lifts. So your feet about shoulder width apart. We're just gonna be lifting one leg up, like into an L, again, L formation with our legs and our chest. And we're gonna do it with our right foot first. Um, uh, while we're doing this, you really want to engage the core and lift the leg with your core rather than just kind of kicking up. Really focus on engaging that core and lifting it with the core. And we'll be doing this for 30 seconds and then we'll switch on over to the left leg and do that for 30 seconds as well, starting now. We got five seconds left and then we'll switch right on over to the left side. All right, moving on to the left. And again, you wanna keep these movements slow and controlled to make sure you're really lifting with the core rather than just trying to kick your leg up as fast as you can. So your whole upper body should be kind of staying in place. We got five seconds left. So give me a couple more. All right, now we're gonna go straight back into our gator lunges. Again, starting with the right side. So again, we're doing that warrior pose, arms out, palms up, and then gator chomping. And we're doing that for 30 seconds, starting now. Give me one more. All right, and then switch right on over to the left side. We got 10 seconds left. Give me one more. Very nice. So then we're gonna go back into our orange and blue stretches. Again, making that O, and then going into that sort of upside down, lowercase b. To really feel a stretch through our obliques. Five more seconds. Let's do one more rotation of these. 
Okay, very nice. Now we're gonna go back to our kicking the ball from FSU, either with your water bottle or with that fist, just doing those trunk rotations for 45 seconds. Got 10 seconds left. Give me one more. Very nice. All right, and then next we're going into our L for F FSU, our standing leg lifts, starting with our right side for 30 seconds, and then moving right on into our left, starting now. Give me one more leg lift with your right, and then move right on into the left. Give me one more leg lift. All right, so now we're gonna move on into our finisher, which is gonna be a little bit of manifestation that will win that SEC championship trophy. So we're calling these hoist the trophy. So basically we're gonna go down into a deep squat with your water bottle or with a fist, either way. And go down into a deep squat and then on your way up, you're gonna shoot the trophy up into the air. We're gonna be doing that for 45 seconds. And we're gonna start that now. You're squatting down and then hoisting that trophy up into the air, squatting back down, hoisting the trophy up into the air. And as you're going up, you're also bringing your bum, your spine and your neck into alignment. We've got five seconds left. All right, very nice job. So I can go into our cool down, take a sip of water if you need to. For our cool down, we're gonna ignore the haters with a little bit of a neck roll. Just bringing your neck around in one direction and then in the other direction. You can also stretch it side to side because you're not listening to all the people who wrongly hate the gators. All right, and then finally, we can make some W's for winners, which is what we are here at UF. So these you can kind of bring your arms kind of together, really parallel, not necessarily touching, and then bring them out into that W. Just keep making that motion. You can also bring it up if you'd like, because we just made a goal, or you can just keep with the W. Give me a couple more. All right, so that concludes our class today.
I hope you all enjoyed your Gator-themed online class 